Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on suturing techniques. The first group consists of simple suturing techniques, such as simple interrupted suture, simple interrupted buried, subcutaneous, and figure of eight sutures. Simple interrupted suture is the most common skin closure method characterized by separate, unconnected stitches. This is a picture showing interrupted suture technique. Simple interrupted buried suture mimics the simple interrupted technique, but features buried knots for sensitive areas, such as the tongue. Subcutaneous suture is often used to eliminate dead space in the depth of the wound with absorbable sutures. Whereas figure of eight suture is a time-saving suture technique that combines subcutaneous and surface skin suture for long incisions. The second group of suturing techniques is the running or continuous sutures. Running or continuous suture is a single strand of suture material that runs the length of a wound, often in a zigzag pattern with a tie at the end. Running or continuous interlocking suture is often used for soft tissue skin closures where the needle passes through the previous suture's loop, locking it into place. Subcuticular suture is applied under the epidermis using absorbable sutures or non-absorbable sutures with external knots for easy removal, whereas purse string sutures Close round wounds or openings using a running stitch that draws closed like a purse or bag. This picture shows a continuous suture technique, whereas this picture shows a subcuticular suture, where you can barely see any suture over the skin. The last group is the mattress suture techniques. Horizontal mattress sutures effectively evert wound edges and create moderate tension to prevent hemostasis and promote wound healing. Vertical mattress sutures excellent for wound edge aversion and approximation on thin or thick skin using two bites. And pulley sutures, is a modified vertical mattress stitch using tension using a pulley-like action to close wound tissue. In this picture, you can see the difference between horizontal and vertical mattress sutures. That's all for this video. Thank you.